Konnichiwa everyone, it's Dan from Japan.co.uk and I'm here to tell you today six things you should never do in Japan. Mm. Bang! Yeah! Oh, look how cool I am! It's like fucking idiots. So, maybe you come into Japan soon and you're a little bit worried about the cultural differences. Don't worry, I've got six tips to stop you looking like a fucking idiot. The first thing to remember is that Japanese culture and Western culture are quite different. Like, there's a lot of different little rules and little customs that you need to be aware of to stop yourself looking like an idiot. The last thing you want is to be surrounded by a bunch of Japanese people giving you dead eye, like, Baka Gaijin. You don't want that. So, the first tip I've got for you today is never blow your nose in public in Japan. Blowing your nose is considered super rude here. Like, they would much rather you spend all day, like, like this, instead of actually just blowing your nose. If you do need to blow your nose, you know, like, go to the toilet, do it there. Just don't do that shit in public, because people will look at you like you're an alien. Just wait till you get to cold season in Japan. It's like an echo. It's a bit weird. Okay, so the second tip is related to eating in a restaurant. There's a couple of, like, odd rules that maybe you've never encountered before. But the biggest sin that you could do in, like, Japan is passing food from one set of chopsticks to another. Like, just don't do that. That's like the worst. So, if you want to, like, give somebody some food off your plate, put it on their plate. If somebody's going to give you some food, take it off their plate. Don't pass it between chopsticks. People will be mad. Mad as hell. So, yeah, bear that in mind. Also, things like don't put your chopsticks directly into your rice bowl and leave it. Because that's got something to do with how they do the funerals here. Like, they stick chopsticks in rice for, like, the funeral. So don't do that either, because it's a sign of death. And the last thing you want is having a nice, nice dinner, and suddenly somebody's like, bang, death. Like, oh, great, cheers, bro, we're having a good time. So bear that in mind. And one other little rule in restaurants, it's totally cool to slurp your ramen. In fact, it's recommended. The first time I came here, uh, I read online somewhere that you shouldn't slurp when you're eating ramen. So I was like trying to silently eat the ramen. And my friend was like, what are you doing? Like, why are you so quiet? I'm trying super hard not to make noise right now. They're like, no, no, you're supposed to make noise. It's how the chef knows that they've done a good job. So yeah, slurp away on that ramen. It's cool. So the third tip I've got for you today is about trains. Trains in Japan are a little different to how trains work back in England where I'm from. So the trains are generally silent. People aren't really talking on the train. If they are talking, they're whispering using muffled voices. So don't be like shouting to your bro three seats over like, all right, dude, what did you do last week? Don't do that. People will be mad and it kind of ruins the atmosphere for everyone else. When I was in Tokyo, I saw a bunch of guys like doing chin-ups on the train like, oh, look how cool I am. It's like, fucking idiots. But don't do that shit. Another thing to remember is put your phone on silent. Nobody wants to hear some random YouTube video that you're watching at the time. Uh, if you want to listen to something, use headphones. And if you do get a phone call, generally people don't talk on the train on their phone. At best, you can be like, oh, much, much. Quiet, simple, easy. Don't talk on your phone, on the train. So the next tip I've got for you today is about yawning. Like everyone yawns. Like it's just a fact of life. But here in Japan, it's considered really rude if you're speaking to someone if you yawn. One of the biggest skills I learned as an English teacher is how to mask a yawn. Suddenly, like, I really think, like, mmm, mmm, like this, or really gritting your teeth, mmm, mmm. It looks stupid, but it's better than yawning, I assure you. If you're in a business situation, especially, and you're meeting, like, a client or your boss and you yawn in their face, they might drop you. So be careful. Try your best not to yawn as much as you can. I know in the West we kind of give you a, like a free pass, oh, that, that dude's tired, maybe he stayed up watching YouTube all last night, I don't know. But in Japan, people will be pretty upset about that. So be careful, try and mask your yawn if you have to yawn, or better yet, just don't yawn. Just become a robot, it's easier. Tip number five is don't tip. Like in the West, we tip. Like you go to a cool restaurant, you leave extra money. You get a taxi, you leave extra money. But in Japan, um, it just doesn't happen. People don't tip to the point where they will return the money if you try and tip them. Trust me, I tried. So, best thing to do is just don't worry about it. Just pay the money they tell you to pay. 
I don't know whether it's a legal thing or whether it's like a respect thing or because they don't believe they deserve extra money for doing their job or whatever. I don't know, it's a bit weird though. Like, Japan is a country where you don't tip and they have the highest level of customer service. Whereas I've had experiences in England where you leave a tip and the customer service has been awful. So it's kind of the wrong way around. But yeah, don't worry about tipping. It's not a thing here. So just don't bother doing it. Save your money. So the last tip I've got for you today is don't stink. Are you listening? Don't stink. Find some way to not stink. Like, the amount of times I see a tourist and they just like stink on the train kind of sucks. It's Japan, it's summer, it's sweaty, you're gonna get like hot, it's humid, it can't be helped, you're gonna sweat. But there's no need to sweat and then stink. Like, get some deodorant, get some like sprays, shower two times a day. Just like, please, please don't stink and <laughs> give us all a bad name. I'm a fat dude and I sweat. But I don't stink, as much as I can help it. So get some deodorant, get some aftershave, get summer, and use it, especially if you're gonna be riding trains. Please. So, there's six tips to stop you looking like an idiot while you're in Japan. If you like this video and you wanna see more of this kind of stuff, do me a favor, leave me a comment below, drop a like on the video, and as always, until next time, Jamata! Oh, don't forget to subscribe.